Alright, hello. Uh, so, I'm doing a video to show the difference between what you get from a somewhat used, uh, like 200-ish or lower dollar gun. I think it's like 180 bucks, the Classic Army EC1, uh, compared to what you get from like a $2,000 gun uh, that has been used extensively. Uh, has not been maintained and um, is about a year almost a year old now has been dropped on concrete several times and is still exactly the way it was apart from stuff like this uh, from the factory uh, still it definitely needs maintenance it's about a month past when it is supposed to get its maintenance done. So, take the, I guess, results with a grain of salt when it comes to the Ocall, because I've seen it perform better, but I'm gonna still show you anyway. So you can understand even if you have a worn down one of these. By the way, there's like, I think like 30, 40,000 BBs. I've been through that oak hall now. Um, or something like this that's only had like maybe, uh, I don't know, 1,200 BBs through it. Maybe at most like 1,500. Uh, anyway, I'm going to be shooting that target down there. It's about 25 yards away. And I'll be shooting the EC1 first doing this all three hands so it's kind of a pain in the butt so bear with me okay as you see on I'm gonna do a semi on both first to show you the difference and then I'll do a full auto burst to show you the difference I'm specifically just going for the grouping to show you uh, the difference in grouping at that distance um, and there's also some wind today not much but there's been some wind yes That is 10 shots with the EC1. It's uh, go shoot you guys what it did. That is, that's what you get for 10 shots at that distance. See one, two, three, four, five, six, seven have hit. So three didn't even hit this paper. And I'll say only four got in that uh this the one of the inner rings. That's about it. I feel like I should have done this uh, back when I got the oak hall straight out of the box because it was like a freaking laser beam. And since it's been worn down, it has become a little less accurate. Alright, like probably half its accuracy uh, from it. 
All right, that's that's actually kind of overestimating, I guess. Yeah, about 25% accuracy has been lost from the oak hall. All right, fresh fresh piece of paper. Uh, I think that's mainly because I have not cleaned the barrel. I haven't done anything to it. And so basically, this is what you're getting from the oak hall at its worst, I guess you could say. Alright, oak hall now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did see some flyers there, but more or less, it was just straight on. As you can see, that is the oak hole with 10 shots, including some wind and a uncleaned gun. That is this, how accurate it is still. You just saw the debris just fly in my face, but the wind just did that. So thank you, Mother Nature. All right. There you go. That's that grouping. Ten shots semi-auto. All right. Put you down for a second. Now we're going to do the EC1 again, down again, on a full auto, do a full auto burst with it, show you what you get from that. Oh, sorry, forgot to tell you the BB weight. The BB weight I'm using on both guns is a .32 grain, uh, or gram, whatever the hell, uh, HPA BBs, because they're awesome. All right, you see, again, I'll be generous. I'll do two bursts. There you go. There's two. Two bursts of full auto. You got enough for the call. That's what you get for full auto. We have there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven out of two bursts of. I don't know. I didn't count. Definitely more than ten. But prior to the second burst, I only saw like three hit. So, that's what you get for full auto on an EC1. Doesn't look that great, does it? 
I don't think it does. I think it looks like shit. Alright. Now for the O-Call. Come on, focus, damn it. There we go. <laughs> All right. So it looked like to me none of those missed the actual paper, but it gave you two bursts. Gave you a burst over here, and then you give a burst over here. So you can see what it looks like there. Almost still stuck there. So what you got? So I also want to point out while I have these two out. differences here. Correct. Where is it? One moment. Alright. This is the EC1 semi and the EC1 on full auto. Here's what you got. Not really much of a difference there. I mean Not that great, especially at just 25 yards. That's, that's pretty bad. Or maybe I just have high expectations. All right, and that's what you got for the O call on semi and two bursts of full auto. One burst over here, one burst over here. So. Uh, I also want to point out, I mean, this thing is, is good for indoors, um, but you want to know something missing? I didn't even drop this thing. It just came off. Also, there's something else missing. Charging handle. Yep. Anyway, that's all I really have for this video, but, uh hope that helps you understand the difference between you know a lower lower budget gun compared to something that's like higher quality